What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel Teen Gradelocker. Of course, I'm your host, the only Henry Rico from Teen Gradelock. And today is our Carver Vanguard Premium Marker Watch. Me in this video, we're going to go over a few cards in the secondary market to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. But before we begin, please remember to comment, subscribe, and check out our channel for more videos. Also, if you guys want to show any love and support to our channel, we do have a link down below. If you guys need to purchase any cards off TCGplay.com, Click our link down below. It'll take you directly to the website. And any purchase they make whatsoever, whatsoever off of our link, we get a small percentage, and it is no extra cost. Now on to today's market watch. It's gonna be a little bit spicy. A lot of cards, in my opinion, shouldn't be value. A lot of cards are gonna be bought out, and we're gonna go over a few Bermuda Triangle cards. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I understand. I know. I do apologize. I did say beforehand. Me personally, I don't feel comfortable doing a market watch on Bermuda Triangles because me. Personally, I don't know that much about Bermuda Triangles, but last Friday, I listed up all my inventory for standard and premium for Bermuda Triangles, and ever since last Friday to Thursday morning, I had over 200 orders. 200 orders of just pure Bermuda cards for standard and premium. Of course, I sold more standard, standard uh, Bermuda Triangle cards, but a lot of premium cards that I sold were orders of 50 bucks or more like a bunch of them were just over 50 dollars and i was just like what's going on of course the bermuda the bermuda triangle hype train is re it's, it's happening right now because next month we are getting bermuda triangles and bermuda triangles are once again going to be meta in standard format and potentially might be meta and premium in that premium format but enough about that let's get on with the market watch to see which cards are money which cards are minus and you guys already know which cards are plus now the first card that i want to talk about is the intimidating mutant king dark face achilles this triple r grade three from the awakening zoo has been gaining value for a while now and this whole time i've been saying this card most likely won't go past two dollars i think i might be wrong there's only seven listings there is three listings does less than three dollars after that is becoming four to five dollars that's broken this triple r slowly has been just gaining value ever since ever since this card first came out it was only 50 cents and it's been slowly gaining value ever since me personally i don't really understand because to be honest i mean this grade three does do a lot of work but right now at the moment i'm not seeing that too much i'm not seeing too much mega colonies in premium format because in premium format all i see is neo nectars and gold paladins both of those both of those two clans are dominating premium format also dark regulars but Again, I don't know what's going on. Potentially, Mega Colonies might make a comeback, but this grade three has been slowly gaining value, and a lot of people are sleeping on it. So, if you actually have this grade three, I recommend to get rid of them for three dollars. It's not a dollar card. It's not a two dollar card because <clears throat> if you actually look at it, again, there's seven listings. There's only three of them for less than three dollars. After that, it's becoming a four to five dollar card. Now, this Angel Feather grade three, I've been selling them nonstop. Me, I have multiple copies of this card. I bought them, I picked them up for, I believe, 15 cents each, and they've been selling for dollars, dollar fifties, two dollars. Well, right now at the moment, there is seven listings as well. <laughs> there is uh, three, four, there, there are three listings, I'm sorry, four listings, less than two bucks. After that, it's become a two dollar card, and then eventually, apparently, it's gonna become a ten dollar card, which I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen. But to be honest, this Great Three Angel Feather has been always, it's it's always been leaving the market slowly. So if you got, if you actually have this Great Three, it's I don't see it as a dollar. It's potentially becoming a three dollar card. But at the moment, if you actually if you guys are trying to get rid of them, get rid of them for two bucks because again, this grade three for angel feathers is actually not that bad. Another angel feather card that I want to talk about, but this time it's a grade one rare, black bomber Malik. This angel feather it looks like it's, it's only it's only going for fifty cents. There are two listings for fifty cents plus seventy eight dollars seventy eight cents shipping, and then after that it's becoming a two dollar card, and then eventually three dollars. We're following six listings. So if you, if you guys actually have this grade one rare for Angel Feathers, it's not less than a dollar. I recommend to push them for 150 or even two bucks because this grade one is definitely leaving the market. So somebody brought this up to me saying, Rico, why is Bind Time Dragon still up in the market? Well, of course, we are getting more, more Gear Chronicle support, uh, I believe, in two months. 
and people are picking them up now before they get more expensive. Of course, Bind, Bind Time Dragon is one of them. The SPs are holding at six bucks and change, but the triple R's. There's only one listing for six bucks, after that, nine dollars, and then apparently after that, fifteen dollars. Now, I can guarantee you, this stride is not gonna sell for more than more than ten bucks. So the triple R's again, don't pick them up. If you actually if you actually want to pick up Bind Time Dragons, I recommend to pick up the SPs. But in my honest opinion, I think Bind Time Dragon, the highest it's ever gonna be, the SPs are gonna be like eight bucks, and then the triple R's are gonna hold at six dollars. Because to be honest, Bind Time Dragon, it's a great card. But my only issue is is that I'm pretty sure this card is Gen Break 2. So you can only use this card on your second stride turn. It's a great card, it can nuke your opponent's board, but it's Gen Break 2. That's the only issue that I have with this card. If it wasn't Gen Break 2, I'm, I can guarantee, guarantee you that this card would definitely be a 10 to $15 card. But unfortunately, Bind Time Dragon is, is Gen Break 2, so I, can, I definitely don't see don't see the SP going past $10, or even the Triple R going past $5. Another card that's also going up in the market, Dragonic Kaiser Crimson SPs are, are holding at seven to eight bucks, while the Double Rs, there is only seven listings and they're going for four dollars and change that is insane this double r grade 3 legion which nobody cared about in in gbto2 is actually going for four to five dollars with only seven listings so at this point you might as well just buy the sp for seven bucks i mean it looks nicer of course but Jogana kaiser crimson's are actually leaving the market by the way this is the legion for vermilion the one that attacks your opponent's front board which isn't that great in my opinion. All right guys, now on to the market watch with Bermuda Triangles. Well, technically it's called the waifu tax, but before we start, waifu helmet locked in. Now, of course, the first card that I wanna go over is the infamous grade three that's been selling out constantly every day i got rid of four copies the first day i got rid of 12 copies the next day and then afterwards someone bought out someone bought out the rest of my 20 copies of this grade three spirited star uh Tarasi. i do apologize if i if i say if i say the name wrong but there's only four listings one for 13 bucks after that 14 dollars each with only four listings but it gets better the chocho popular favorite stride the grs we're going for 20 bucks each with nine listings above the market price. Market price is only 10 bucks and change. So again, guys, people are picking up Bermuda Triangle cards for standard and premium. They're trying to be they're trying to get ahead, ahead of the market because Bermuda Triangles are going to be meta and standard, and potentially Bermuda Triangles might be meta in premium format. Now on to a few spicy strides. Legendary Idol Riviers. The triple R's. There's only two listings. One for 25 bucks after that. $36. <laughs> Bermuda Triangles are getting expensive, especially the strides for Riviere and Coral. Well, technically there's only, I think, I think there's only two expensive strides for Coral because I'm pretty sure Coral has at least three or four strides. And we just found one of them, this Coral stride, Arcadia, stri Arcadia Star Coral. This stride is going for 13 bucks each after that $18 with only five listings. So of course, this stride is also being, is also being bought off the market. Now on to a few G Guardians, High Society Citrons. This G Guardian, the Triple R's, is above the market price at seven dollars. After that, it's a nine dollar card with only three listings. Even the Pacifica GR stride is also above the market price at seven dollars, and then after that, eight dollars with only seven listings. <laughs> this GR stride for Pacifica has always been two bucks or even three dollars, but now it's double the price at six to seven dollars broken another card that's also being leaving the market full bright wish Sh shizuki are going for four bucks after that well technically there's nine listings so it's going for four bucks but it's above the market price market price is at dollar 95 so another grade three that's also going up in the market and of course the most expensive coral stride frontier star coral are going for 20 bucks each of only three listings let's go again guys a lot of premier triangle cards even the strides are definitely going up going up the market but this grade three is still above the market price at eight dollars each peaceful voice reindeer so only six listings i got rid of my last three 
I believe on Sunday for for six seventy five, I think, and they're gone. I got rid of them. People actually picked them up, and a grade one double R, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people did not did not even notice, was actually value in the market. Uh, Grant uh, Garland Blossom Anya's they're going for three bucks and change with only ten listings. So this grade one double R, I recommend to put them to put them on the market because to be honest, I thought this grade one was like a quarter. But people bought them off me for 250s and now they're three dollars each. And the last card I want to talk about hand in hand, Liana. There's only four listings for four bucks and change each. Another G Guard that's above the market price. Well, not that much by the way, because market price is at 337. And right now at the moment it's four bucks and change. So another G Guard that's also up the market for for Bermuda Triangles. So that's the end of our market watch for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did indeed enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up if you guys have subscribed yet to our channel i recommend to subscribe to the channel because we're gonna have more videos we're gonna have more deck profiles more match videos and more mark watch videos every thursday is gonna be our standard mark watch and every friday is gonna be our premium mark watch so stay tuned for that and you know we do have a bell button down there somewhere if you click it i don't know it, it, it might give you notifications when our videos are up and running so you might want to hit the bell button. So today's market watch was pretty spicy. A lot of cards were going up the market, especially Bermuda Triangle cards. Guys, if you guys have Bermuda, Bermuda Triangles for premium and st or standard, I recommend to put them up in the market because this is the best time to get rid of to to get rid of Bermuda Triangles. Take advantage of it. It is insane. Again, I had over 200 orders from last Friday to Thursday morning of just pure Bermuda Triangle cards. They're gone. They're all gone. It's just insane. All right. Enough, enough about me babbling about Bermuda Triangle cards. I will see you guys next time. Deuces.